Bees' venom can cure infections, they can use the force, and they have mad GPS. What's up people, Trace here for D News, and though you probably only think of bees when you're eating honey or thinking back to Nick Jr., here are three things that will make you respect those little guys. Researchers from the Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis have developed a vaginal gel that can be used to prevent HIV infection, and the key ingredient? Venom from bees. Inside of a bee stinger is venom, and inside of that venom is a toxin called melidin, which attacks anything it touches and destroys it. But Dr. Joshua Hood engineered a nanoparticle covered in the toxin with bumpers. Viruses are teeny in comparison to normal cells, so Hood designed this toxin-carrying nanoparticle to bounce off regular cells using bumpers. But the HIV virus is so little it slides between them and hits the B toxin. This system leaves healthy cells alone and only attacks the HIV virus. The toxin ruptures HIV's protective coating, which should stop initial infection, but won't cure someone who's already infected yet. By the way, last week Anthony reported on a baby being cured of HIV using current drugs. Find it, watch it, it's amazing. Here's another way bees are wonderful. They uh, generate quite the buzz when flying around, and the friction of the air gives them a positive electrical charge, kind of like static. Then, when they land on a flower, which is usually negatively charged, the bee gives the plant an electric shock, like when you rub your foot on the floor and then touch metal. The flowers hold on to the charge for a while, helping the bees remember which flowers they visited. Other bees can sense that remaining electrical charge, kind of like using the force. If they can trust their feelings, they'll decide if these flowers have nectar or not. Aside from cool venom stuff and using the force, bees have crazy GPS. They can see polarized light like birds, so even when the sun is obscured by clouds, the bees can see it and use it for navigation. They also have a wicked accurate internal clock, so they know how far they've flown and for how long, and they can see colors, they can see patterns, they can understand symmetry, which is a trait scientists believe is reserved usually for more intelligent animals. Using all of these things together, a drone bee can fly out of the hive and know how far he's gone and in what direction he flew. Once he gets to a set of flowers, he picks the most colorful and symmetrical ones because those are bees favorites, changes the electrical field when it lands on it, grabs some nectar, and heads back to the hive. Once back at the hive, he can use all of this information to share the precise location of the best flowers. If he's experienced enough, he can even take into account the changing position of the sun over time. And he delivers all of this info by dancing, this little waggle thing, and he's all like, guys, flowers that way. I love bees. I think they're really cool. I mean, I don't like getting stung, but who does? What is your favorite insect? Do you have one? Think about it and pollinate our comments with your opinions. Thanks for tuning in to D News. We do this for you and we love that you watch. If you love us too, then subscribe. You won't regret it. Thanks again. See you around.